I talked in the, the last video, in the first part, about how the Hierophant was a representation of uh, the vision of the higher self. And in this vision, you see the, the star, the pentagram, being within the self. You see the Hierophant who has three crowns. He also, in this card, has a staff that has a triple cross. In other decks, he sometimes has a, a only the crowns or only the staff, or sometimes instead of a triple cross, it might have a, a, a triple a circle, like a knotwork. Uh, this is all representative of that, that trinity uh, of the, the child and the man and the high priest, which are all in one form, in one figure. This is also a representative of the, the fact that uh, we seek to become something divine. Right, uh, but within us we have actually uh, two forces which people uh, will tend to to neglect. Uh, there is the force of of the natural self, the animal self, the instinct self, the child self, and then there's the awakened self, the teacher, the Buddha, uh, and for there to be awakening these forces have to be in a balance uh, you won't be able to find one without the other you can't see the high priest if you don't recognize the child so the path of the mystic of awakening is a path of first uh, connecting to your humanity and then uh, connecting to your uh, to your natural self, to your, to your animal nature, and then connecting to your uh, divine self. And really these are all part of just the human self. There's nothing out of them that, that lets you leave your humanity. You can't stop being human and be an animal, and you can't stop being human and be a god, because you are uh, fundamentally human, and the human is both the animal and the god. Now, there are the two columns or the two rows that mark the uh, the boundaries in this uh, in this card. One of them is red and has the pentagram on the top. The other one is is blue and uh, has pomegranates on the top. And so these are the two columns that represent uh, the completeness of human experience. You have on the one hand the column of, of severity and on the other the column of mercy. The, on the one hand the, the intensity and the other one uh, relaxedness. You have uh, on the one hand strength and on the other beauty. So these are uh, the extremes of the, the aggressive and the passive, the masculine and the feminine. And the red and the blue uh, represent in in the the color red here represents the the form of of energy unbound which is topped by the star and the blue represents energy directed which is topped by the pomegranates and you need both of these you can't have one without the other if you have energy unbound then there's the, and there was no other limit uh, then you're not going to be able to uh, create anything that will have a, an effect in the world. And if you have energy directed but no energy unbound, then you have no movement. So order and chaos are both needed here. And these are the, uh, the totality of human power. And then in the center, uh, you have the initiate which is the middle path or the middle pillar. All of this comes out of the, the Hebrew Kabbalah, but it's also represented in every other uh, form of mystical teaching. And you need to, to locate yourself 
in the context of those two limits, those two boundaries, uh, you have to find those two limits, and then you also have to center yourself in the middle, which is where the path of wisdom is found. So, this being a card of, of uh, the fulfillment of these of this path of the first six cards. It's mainly a, a transformative card, a transformative symbol. Mm -hmm. It represents a new discovery within the person and a transformation where they have this vision that the, 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 the limits of their perception are expanded. Mm -hmm. This card is a card then that says you have to uh, find that inner teacher. And of course, it can also uh, bring with it certain risks, risks of error. The first risk is that of, of imbalance. Uh, the pentagram is not just the little point at the top. It requires all of the other four points. So the force of the divine energy rests on the foundations of the four elements working in balance. And if you're not in balance in those four aspects of your, of your regular life, uh, in terms of, of your material self, of your intellectual self, of your emotions, and of your personal energy, uh, then your perception of the, of the higher self is going to be affected, it's going to be warped. And it'll be harder for you to be able to uh, discern uh, this higher self, to be able to see it and recognize it, to see it in yourself, to be able to connect to it, to be able to receive uh, instruction from it. Because that's the point here, is that you can see this higher self within you, and that this moves you towards a greater awakening. Uh, and that you see it as a part of you, and that you can enter eventually into contact, into communication with this higher self, to start seeing uh, what are the messages that this higher self has for you. And you can't communicate effectively with the higher self if you don't uh, represent the balance of all five points of the, of the pentagram. The other common mistake for someone who is at the stage of the Hierophant in the, in the mystical journey is uh, solipsism, where the person has this vision of the higher self and they interpret this as meaning that this higher self uh, is their self as they are now, it simply expanded. And that's not true. There's the mistake that some make who have this experience spontaneously, where they see the higher self as something totally divorced from them, an alien spirit, a god or a, a ghost or a channeled being or something like that, and they don't understand that this is a part of them. And really those are both the same mistake. They come out of the desire to be able to keep the personality, to keep the ego of what you are. Because what the Hierophant demands is that you understand that what you thought was all of you is actually just this little thing and that you have to break beyond this. And that what is beyond isn't just you but with more superpowers or something like that. It's something that is beyond what your experience up till now has been of your identity. So. You, you're, one of the mistake that people make is they try to project their wills, their, their, their personality's will into the higher self and say, this is how I want things to be. Where here, what you need to have is devotion and surrender that you are accepting the will of the higher self. And now that you've got into contact with the higher self, you're looking to it to instruct you. 